talking about the playoff race and said doesn't really think about teams you could catch or teams behind you. Feel like you just got to win the games you're supposed to win. As good as Philly is, does it always feel like you're supposed to win when you're at home? I mean, how there's urgency in every game, but when you're at home, does it feel like to keep pace you need to win every home game? I mean, it's just a matter of what you want to focus on, whether it's the standings race or the uh, momentum that you need to build down the stretch of the season to find some type of confidence in how you perform in the playoffs and how everybody attacks their role and all that. Um, I'm sure everybody has a little different vantage point, but it all leads to having a sense of urgency on winning the next game because... um, of just the time of year we're in and what's what's at stake in the big short term and long term in terms of trying to reach a goal so it all it all matters if, if i guess a quick follow as part of that answer Draymond was saying the priority is the top six it's just stay out of that plan for sure how much do you feel that i guess i mean we knew how big i was in, De- in dallas to get you know a tie rig against them and for us to feel like if we like take care of business here at home that that will help us we don't know what you can't control other than you know your win so you definitely want to stay out of play play in tournament because you don't you never know how that can go a single game here or there and it gives you an extra week to prepare for whatever first round series you you might have so i mean if we can control that we would like to you know do that it's also following up on, on Ron's questions. Draymond was talking about, you know, he's a guy who really maybe doesn't love March basketball, but really gets up for that that April, you know, the playoff basketball. Jordan was in this post game interview talking about it's playoff JP and stuff. Do you feel guys kind of making that that shift? This team that historically has always really gotten up for for playoffs, that it's kind of molding into that now. I mean, yeah, but last year we were. We were terrible in uh, the last, whatever, 12, 15 games. But the mindset's always there. You're trying to put together a solid run leading into the playoffs. Nobody wants to limp into the playoffs and have to turn it on. I mean, we somewhat did that last year, but you'd rather not have that kind of uncertainty going in. No matter how it plays out, you want to be firing on all cylinders. And for us to bounce back and put together a solid string of of games like we did the last two on the road tonight and hopefully you know over this homestand you just want to feel good going into whatever the uh, playoff picture looks like what uh what stood out to you about the way that Jordan played in the fourth quarter and do you feel like talking about flipping a switch do you feel like a switch is flipping for him lately um I think it's just clear that when you approach the game the right way in the sense of just your effort and focus um, across the board. Not just that's not just a JP. That's a, everybody. That good things usually happen. Um, you know, on both sides of the ball. So I think we had 19 in the fourth. <clears throat> he competed on the other end and got rewarded for it. Um, and he was just very assertive and decisive the whole the whole frame. So for uh, for us to have the versatility to, you know, call his number for a majority of the fourth, understanding how they were guarding us and him taking up space and creating driving lanes and, you know, knocking out big shots, it was, it was a fun way to play and to see him go off. And then they made a couple adjustments. I got loose for a couple shots. So, you know, Clay got open. Everybody was a threat, and JP started the whole thing for us. So, it's just a matter of him being ready for whatever he's asked to do and whatever the game, you know, requires. Might not always be crazy scoring, but it's just being aggressive and being ready. And he was he was he was definitely that tonight.